Groundwater replenishment is a process where we take already treated wastewater that we currently discharge to ocean. We treat that to a standard where it's actually higher than drinking water quality guidelines and then recharge that into deep aquifers. We're in a period of climate uncertainty where we may be having a drying climate, uh, much less rainfall. Um, we've also got a growing population, so that means that we need more water uh, to supply to this city. Um, we know the community strongly support the idea of water recycling and this is a way where we could potentially recycle very large quantities of water, so it's something that we need to look at very seriously. Um, we've actually commissioned the treatment plant itself and done extensive testing of the water quality in that. At the same time, there's a fairly high level of complex control on this plant and just getting all that kit to work all of the time has taken us some time. And key thing I guess to stress there is that we need this plant to work properly all of the time. Um, our motto here is every drop counts. Um, we're not prepared to accept anything except the highest standards for this treatment plant because it's, it's critical that it operates correctly all of the time. The Department of Health critically need to approve this before we can start recharging. Until they are completely satisfied, we're not going to start. We, um, we plan to start recharging later on this year. We'll then keep recharging water into the aquifer and until at least January 2013 and uh, keep monitoring the water quality through the treatment plant and also in the aquifer. Uh, when we get all the results in from that, we're going to assess whether that is a viable uh, water supply option for Perth um, in conjunction with health regulators, environmental regulators and Department of Water. Um, and ultimately, um, if the community support the concept of groundwater replenishment, we could build large schemes and take all the water from this treatment plant um, and recharge that to Nangara Mound.